Hi, this is Dr. Friedman, and we are going to work on a hip-hop beat today. So we have already talked about how to record a basic techno beat, and I recorded that in three tracks. And then the next thing we went to do is to record a basic rock beat, and I recorded that in these three tracks. And I'm just going to scroll over, and we're going to start right here on measure 11. We're going to add three tracks and record a basic hip-hop beat. So let's take a look at what the hip hop beat looks like in standard music notation. And here it is. And we're going to review some stuff. You're going to notice that the cymbal pattern for this hip hop beat is the same as a basic rock beat. And the snare drum pattern is also the same as a basic rock beat. So there's just a few variations you may want to do when using the cymbal pattern or the snare drum pattern. That's really choosing a different kind of kit so it sounds a little bit more hip hop like. So that might be something that's a little bit more processed sounding, an 808 sound, some sort of um, electronica kind of kit. Uh, it's kind of up to you. Contemporary hip hop has many, many different kinds of variations to it. Um, so you can choose the sound that you like. Uh, the cymbal patterns in hip hop is almost always hi-hat, closed hi-hat patterns. So uh, you can decide on that for yourself. Uh, so let's just look, take a look at some of the possibilities. And then we're going to review the bass drum pattern. If you need to review and find out more about how to record the cymbal pattern and the snare drum pattern, go look at the videos up in the rock beat so that you can see the bass drum pattern is just here, a variation of uh, some of the things that we did in the rock beat pattern. And we'll go into that in more detail. All right, let's add a new track in Soundation. Oh, okay, let's add a new track in Soundtrap. We choose a drum beat, and uh, let's see. You could choose the vanilla. Why not? Let's see what that sounds like. Uh, the instrument here on the keyboard, the closed hi hat is the number eight on the keyboard. That's actually an open hi hat, and U is a closed hi hat. If you want to explore some other instruments, you can try that. Feel free. Some of the machine, I don't know, old school tape. Why not? Let's see what that is. Kind of nice. Let's uh, figure that out. We'll use that for now. So that's a uh, just for the hi hat there. Uh, we can also look and see what the snare drum pattern is for what does pop and snap sound like. There's that. You might like that. The X is what's called a rim click. It's completely up to you. You can mi mix and match and see what's available to you. So the hi-hat patterns might be closed hi-hat and or the snare drum. Um, just like that. So choose uh, the drum kit of your choice for hi-hat and snare drum. All right, let's take a look at what we can do here for a bass drum line. That's the variation. And let's see what this sounds like. Not too bad. It's getting a little bit 8080. We like that. Sounds good like an 808. Okay, let's take a look at the bass drum pattern here in the standard notation. Let's find out what's going on. Well, we have here, let's see, beat one. Here's beat one. Here's beat two. Here's beat three. And here's beat four. So this little uh, sort of seven with a little ball on the end, that's an eighth note rest. So if I were to actually draw in where the Utahs were, this would be U, ta. Or two, this is beat two we're talking about now. So this would be two and, or U ta. And here would be three and. Or with rhythm states, we say U ta. And this is a quarter note rest, which is main. So this is beat one. I'll put the beats in so you could see that in a different color. Beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four. So the, this is where the click goes on the beats. One, two, and three, and four. That's what we're playing on. Or main, you ta, ta, main. So let me play that for you in Soundtrap so that you can hear it while we look along. So this would be this. Main, you ta, you ta, rest. Two, and four. Click, 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 click. Click, click, click. Good way to practice is to actually play along with me as I do this and as I record. 
go back, rewind, play along, see if you can get that before you go to record. All right, let's try recording it in Soundtrap.